Hey guys, so the last video I made was about a 200 year old mummified monk who some say is still alive, but just in a meditative state. Now there's another mummified monk, he's a thousand years old and uh, definitely dead, but was made into a golden Buddha statue. Here's the thing. Who knows how many more Buddha statues contain mummies or other mummified monks that we haven't found in the world. You know, if monks weren't so peaceful and are vegetarians, I would totally be concerned with an Asian mummy apocalypse right now. A golden statue of a sitting Buddha smuggled from a temple in China to a market in the Netherlands revealed a 1,000 year old mummified monk inside. Researchers discovered the mummy encased in a cavity in the statue when a private buyer brought it to the Trent Museum in the Netherlands for restoration. After the mummy was discovered, it wasn't until a team of researchers did a comprehensive three-dimensional x-ray image last year did they discover the mummy's organs were missing. Instead, Instead of lung tissue, researchers found little scraps of paper covered with Chinese characters which are probably incantations, so awesome that they messed with what could be a potential seal preventing the mummy from coming back to life. The mummy was found sitting on a bundle of cloth covered in Chinese inscriptions, revealing its identity as a Buddhist monk called Liu Quan who may have practiced self-mummification to prepare for life after death. The process of self-mummification is a known tradition in countries like Japan. China and Thailand and was practiced over a thousand years ago. The elaborate process includes eating a special diet and drinking a poisonous tea so the body would be too toxic to be eaten by maggots. The few monks that were able to successfully complete the process were highly revered. Researchers are still waiting on DNA analysis results in hopes to trace the mummy back to its exact location in China. The statue is now housed in the National Museum of Natural History in Budapest and will move moved to Luxembourg in May as part of an international tour. You know what? We seriously do have a problem of not able to let dead people, you know, just rest. We always gotta go dig them up, run tests on them, put them in a museum, parade them around the world. I mean, this guy went as far as mummifying himself and then was put into a golden Buddha statue and we still found him. That's why when I die, you know, just toss me into a volcano. They'll probably still find me. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on this story. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.